If you're a homeowner over the age of 55, then stop scrolling. When considering a reverse mortgage to tap into the equity of your home during retirement, you'll need to prepare a set of essential documents to complete the application process seamlessly. These documents help lenders evaluate your eligibility and ensure you meet the requirements of this financial option. Let's explore the key documents you should have at your disposal when applying for a reverse mortgage. 1. P-R-O-F-O-F-A-G-A-N-D-C-I-T-I-Z-E-N-S-H-I-P To qualify for a reverse mortgage, you must be at least 62 years old. You'll need to provide documents that verify your age and U.S. citizenship or permanent residency status. Commonly accepted forms of identification include a driver's license, passport, or birth certificate. 2. P-R-O-P-E-R-T-Y-O-W-N-E-R-S-H-I-P-D-O-C-U-M-E-N-T-A-T-I-O-N -E -E Since reverse mortgages are secured by your home, you'll need to prove that you own the property in question. This typically involves presenting a copy of your property deed, mortgage statement, or tax assessment. 3. M-O-R-T-G-A-G-I-N-F-O-R-M-A-T-I-O-N If there's an existing mortgage on your home, you'll need to provide details about the outstanding balance and current monthly payments. The reverse mortgage lender will need this information to determine how much equity is available to you. 4. C-O-U-N-S-E-L-I-N-G-C-E-R-T-I-F-I-C-A-T -E. Before applying for a reverse mortgage, you must attend a counseling session with a HUD-approved counselor. You'll need to provide a certificate of completion as proof of counseling when submitting your application. This step ensures that you fully understand the implications of a reverse mortgage. 5. INCOMEANDASSETINFORMATION While a reverse mortgage doesn't have income requirements like traditional mortgages, lenders may still request information about your sources of income and assets. This helps them assess your ability to cover property charges, such as property taxes and homeowners insurance. 6. CREDITANDPAYMENTHISTORY Lenders may review your credit history and payment history for property-related expenses. However, a poor credit score won't necessarily disqualify you from obtaining a reverse mortgage. The primary focus is on your home's equity and your ability to meet ongoing financial obligations. 7. P-R-O-F-O-F-R-E-S-I-D-E-N-C -E -E. You'll need to confirm that the property in question is your primary residence. This typically involves providing utility bills, driver's license, or other documents that show you live at the property. 8. C-O-U-N-S-E-L-I-N-G-C-O-N-F-I-R-M-A-T-I-O-N -E After your counseling session, you'll receive a certificate of counseling. This certificate serves as proof that you've met the counseling requirement. Be sure to include it with your application. Give us a like, hit that follow button, and share this video with your friends and family. Stay tuned for more tips on reverse mortgages and how they can work for you.